hey everybody welcome to the stream so for this stream the plan is so up till now i have been creating models uh creating just the models uh, deep learning models which uh, did image recognition and all that but the plan from now on is to build a full-fledged uh, game which will use deep learning so we are going to create and build this game hand cricket so uh, i have not played this game before and uh, we don't need to know the rules right now we will uh, check all the rules later when we actually get coding the rules of the game so but for now you need or the only thing you need to know is uh, we have to recognize this kind of gestures so the all the hand gestures with uh, one finger extended, two finger extended and so on. So once we have a model which will recognize these gestures, then we can build this game. And we will implement all the functionality like uh, you can play with uh, your friend and so on. But that is for later. First we will try to get the data for this kind of uh, hand gestures and we will train a model. After that, we will try to create the game. So I have been searching for data set and I found this data set from Kaggle, which does contains most of the things that we need to train the model. So this data set contains 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, I mean the finger. So it contains a fist, index finger, two fingers extended, three fingers extended, uh, all right uh, three fingers extended four fingers extended and five fingers extended but uh, it doesn't contain the thumb gesture also uh, let's see which gestures we need first of all so we need this for one two three four and five and this thumb gesture so we we have this uh, four, five, six, six gestures inside this data set, but we don't have this thumb gesture. So we will need to download different data set for the thumb gesture. Plus, if we also need a gesture which uh, which is not none of these seven gestures. So suppose that will be, uh, you know. Uh, helpful when we try to build the game because uh, suppose someone is uh, uh, doing nothing while the game is playing then we don't need to recognize it as uh, any of this so suppose someone is doing something like this in, during the game we don't need to recognize it uh, any of this gesture we should categorize that gesture as something like none or something okay so for that also we will we will see how to get that, that kind of data set but for now let's download this data set uh, also let me check uh, if Kaggle contains the data set for thumb gesture as well or not because it is also uh, one of the gestures that we need Um, all right, I don't think it will be just for thumb, but it should be labeled something like hand gesture or something. Let me check the data set filter. Where is it? Data, data set size. Okay, it's here. EMG gesture classification classified gestures by reading muscle thumbs up okay let me check this out In this data set, okay, it, it contains only one file why the hell this guy uploaded this we 
it will be great if we can get a data set containing all the gestures that way we won't have to uh, merge all the data sets and clean it up and all that shit uh, multi-model data set for hand gesture let's check this out thumbs up and thumbs down This data set contains uh, what kind of images does it contain? Hand gesture testing images. 15 different hand gestures, but they are not saying which exactly which gestures are there. All right, uh, it's over here. Information of the right hands, All right? center normal position this seems like a complicated data set we have fingers thumb type index let's check the images skeletal <laughs> where are the image files do we have yeah we do have png files where are those test gesture train pose where are the images this are it might be inside near infrared maybe train pose so here are all the images let's check other data set this data set contains a relaxed thumbs up thumbs down so yeah we we, we will be having this kind of class relax basically nothing where are all the images what are these files latitude longitude data set statistical extraction okay. from emg no we don't want emg data we want images maybe i should search for um, hand gesture something not handling and just here and we want only data sets and just recognition so let's check this data set handwriting no we don't want handwriting data set and hand 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 sign language the sign language and hand data set Let's check the hand data set. Mm -hmm. And then collected from different comprehensive data set of hands. So it seems uh, this data set only contains hand image is not gestures i guess training data set training data and no annotation we want to check the images not annotations oh no 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 this is not we need this is not what we need we need hand gesture hand sign on fingers this data set contained thumb gestures it would have been great hand sign images this data set contains this thing as well 
ए बी सी डी ओके मे बी वी कैन यूज दिस डेटा सेट लेट्स चेक वॉट इज इन साइड ए सो दिस इज फॉर ए अ फिस्ट इट इट इज अ फिस्ट राइट इट्स नॉट क्लियर वट कैंड ऑफ इमेज इज दे आर जस्ट ट्वेंटी एट बाई ट्वेंटी एट पिक्स सो दिस आर नॉट दैट मच क्लियर पिक्चर्स we want something with at least 128 by 128 so let's forget about this data set leap palm images images for gestures palm fist index cool so this is for palm this is for index fist fist mode like this so i guess we can Uh, merge this both this data for fist and fist mode and just call it as what is it this one class put it inside one class then we have for thumb cool we have for thumb as well index what kind of images are this not even clear and i can't tell which finger is up and which finger is down so it is in this position or something this is for okay 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 arm mood C like this and down like this do we have other images no this are the only images and let's check the size all of these images are where is the size mentioned There's no mention of size anywhere. But it does contains the one gesture that we need, which is this one thumb. It contains two hundred files of thumb gestures, and it will fit with this data set because it this contains the grayscale images as well. So. It will be easier, and we won't have to convert this. Images. These are not gray screen. I guess this infrared or something. I mean, the images are gray scale, but what I wanted to say was, let's see. why do we have different folders inside the data set is structured in different folder as zero subject with identifier zero zero the last subject with identifier zero nine five men and five women okay 
okay in total we have 10 different from 10 different person codes and for each we have in total let's see how many files do we have in total 20,000 and in the first folder we have 200 thumb images in second folder 200 as well so in total I guess we have how much is 200 into 10 2000 images of thumbs and this fingers data set contains let me check Twenty thousand images in total it contains twenty thousand images in total. The training data set contains eighteen thousand, and all of the gestures are inside one folder only. They are not segregated inside different folders. Okay. left and right hand in his fingers so I guess this time we will have to clean up the data a bit because these images are not inside the labeled uh, folders it is in, they are inside and not they are not inside anything they are inside just one folder and the labels are the file names so for zero one two three it has names like this just the name let me check the full name so this is the label zero l so l is for the left hand that's how these images are labeled uh, and on the other hand this this data set this data set is inside the folders so i guess we can either change the names of this images or we can change we can separate this images into different folders we can do both of um, this is 177 MB and this data set is of 1 GB oh hell so definitely don't need all of the images so we will we want to be able to download the whole data set and I'm not gonna upload this to my Google Drive directly I will have to download it on my local machine and then clean up get, uh, basically get rid of all the all this different folders that we don't need we only want the thumb folder and after that hmm, we'll see let's just uh, first download the Let me first download both data sets locally as well. I will download this data set directly in the Google Drive as well. But for now, let me just download it locally. It should be as a memory. 
this is fingers data set and g Plugin. Let me check the fast AI docs to see if we have a function or something which can get labels from this kind of data set. Yes, it was inside a notebook.
the author created a custom function for something like that was inside pet breeds or something or maybe it was inside multi cat Press the custom function get y yeah this is the custom function labels no that's not the one it might be inside different notebook it was definitely not inside production notebook mm, maybe inside pet spreads Yeah, this is the one I'm talking about using attribute regex. So we can use the same kind of custom function to get the labels. Let's see what kind of classes we will be having. We will have, let's say this is for one, two, three, four, five. This is for six. And this one will be labeled as this particular category stock it is called stock which is uh, which is a term from this game so this gesture is called stock a fish So this gesture is zero inside our folder, right? Our data set. So this is zero. So we can classify it as zero for now. We can change this later in the code. So it's not a problem. For this only we will need six, which is not present right now. Right, so the data set has been downloaded let me open it up and where did it go and just uh, going to take time for the extraction as well it hasn't even started yet damn so if we were to use the labels from the file names then we will have to change file names of this data set as well hand gesture so we might have to write a small script to change the names maybe maybe we can try and do something in python for that so it seems that this whole stream we are going to uh, take time to do the data preparation and just uh, so meanwhile it is downloading let me try to create a script to change the file names now what we need is the file names of uh, let's see which image 
for this feast we need find names as six so there should be six inside it let me check the other data set it is ol so we need this kind of file name it could be anything before but uh, the last we need a uh, an underscore and the label and this left or right in our case we don't need this l left or right so we, we are only concerned with uh, this label 0 1 2 3 4 5 so we will have to convert this data set into something like that Was is my cell taking this much time? Finally, data sets. and gesture so we will have to delete all the other folders and only get the thumb gesture lip recognition let's check the folder we will get rid of all the other folders and only keep this thumb folder inside each of this numbered folders 0 1 2 and 3 4 5 and after that we will merge all these files into a single folder and change the names of all the files so we will keep the this name but only append underscore and this is six so under co underscore six and uh our a placeholder it can be anything because this image is contains that kind of label so we, we should place something uh, at the last character All right, the extraction has been done. We have all the images now. We have two folders. Leap. Why do I have two folders here? And gesture. Leap chest rack. Why do I have two folders? let me check the content of this folder it contains 20,000 20,110 items and this folder contains 111 
so yeah this is just a copy of that folder let's get rid of this folder so that's why it was almost 1 gb why would they do this by the way these images are not 128 by 128 pixels on the other hand these images are 128 by 128 so i guess the transformation step will take care of this let me get rid of it manually or not uh, let's just uh, get all the images let's write a script with so what we want is we want to grab all the files from this thumb folder from all the subfolders parent folders on different parent folders we want to grab all these files and place it inside one single folder and also change the names to append the label that we want right so for that i'm gonna write a script so i'm gonna call it uh, let's say let me create a folder first of all let's just create the script data data clean okay so i want to grab all the images now let me check how i can grab all the images in python get all files from directory because damn you capture I'm gonna disable this plugin taking a lot of time because use of fully search and return files and yeah that's what I need always walk It is just so let's see if the path variable path is let me get the path we need and hand gesture mm -hmm. 
need the path over here, not downwards. Yeah, that's what I want. Now let's see what we need to do. We need to walk through. For root and sub and files in os dot walk path <coughs> and for item in files. Let's just print the names of the file for now. It's going to fill up our whole terminal window. I might have to import the OS, I guess. Yeah, I have to import the OS. Do we have this kind of files as well? Or are this the folder names? Let me check. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I have to change the path. I have given the whole path. should be hand gesture now we have the correct file names cool but we don't want all the files we only want the files the images from and let me check we want images from this thumb directory only. So, items in file. This root sub sub. Let me check what is inside sub because we need it. This should be sub. Now, let's get the All right, we have all the folders now. Now we are going to select only the folders which contains underscore, underscore thumb. So I would have to write a condition or a Jex. So let me check the regex.
fight and rejects. Let's import the Python regex file. Plugin R library, whatever it is called. Now want to match the folder. So So I, what I want to do is find all the file name folders with thumb as the parent name and get all the files. Let me directly Google it. So get folder matching a particular string and get all files python certain type of directory yes that's what we need uh -huh, we can directly use regex inside the walk that's awesome No, is this the regex? I don't think so. We have to iterate over a list of in and having a name match with that particular extension or pattern. Find a list of files with particular extensions or pattern. Path name is a specific pattern which filters out all the files and returns the files as list. Another parameter names a recursive by default is it is of means false. Okay, so let's try to use this blob i might have to import the blob as well i guess blob import blob import blob File this should be glob dot glob 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 R. Can I use the path over here? I need to use this path inside R. Let's check the globe. Hmm. 
what is this r is it for regex and how can i use this path variable inside regex then A variable inside regex in glob python Search redox search. That's not what I'm asking for. Let's check the documentation of Glob. Path name star. Well, can I use a formatted string? I guess not. Can I use something like this path slash? Variable inside regex string. percentage some variable okay I would like to combine a python variable and pattern that's what we also want how can i do it big know is what i would like to do star star some variable plus pattern yes that's exactly what i want as well percentage yes Do I have to provide this kind of percentage string for pattern match and flex? Let's use the string formatting. We can use percentage. So let's say use percentage as after that. anything but it should end with thumb underscore thumb or just thumb so for anything let's see what we can use regex dot star it should be dot star i guess dot any character so this 
should be dot star until we get to thumb and we should use the path variable all right let's try to find if this works or not We are not getting anything. So it seems our this is incorrect. What if I remove thumb? plus pattern so should we pass string for pattern match over here i don't think so dot star that's what i'm using let me get rid of the thumb for now and let's try to run this now okay just getting the hand gesture dot zip now why are we getting this hand gesture dot zip because yeah I know why because we are just we are giving this as the path and after this path anything can be there so star dot star but apparently it is not going inside the folders so we might have to check this recursive option as true so let's do that recursive equal to true so we are just getting the hand gesture dot zip file this file but uh, According to the regex, we should also get this hand gesture folder. Now, why are we not getting that folder? Start or zip. Maybe because we are passing the regex string.
we want everything inside this part so what if i pass less over here mm, this time we don't get anything What if I get rid of R? Nothing again. Maybe we should use just the simple re dot search. That will be easier, I guess. So first, let's get all the files and then filter it using this re dot search. Right. So let's try to do that. Let's copy this. Or R in here, RE dot search. Let's change this. We want only the file names which end with so we should use dot star thumb dot star this seems all right so let's get the results we should change this as well this we are using python 3 why are we not getting any results this should raise return maybe it is not matching it let me try to remove this and see what happens So we just get the leap chest recognition but we want everything inside list directory right 
so what if i pass what if i use os walk instead of glitch directory let's check what it gives us this in this case okay what's the problem expect a string or bikes like object okay so it's giving us error because of this what this os dot walk returns we want the files written not everything else so let's change this This should work now. Why isn't this working? Let me get rid of this RE search for now. Cool, now we are getting all the file names. But definitely we are getting empty folders as well. Empty list. Why are we getting empty list? why is os walk returning three four different list it should return the file names only right it doesn't return individual files it returns a list of files so we have to destructure it again All right, let's do that. Let's see what we can do for item in F. and we can pass item over here right let's check the results now cool we are getting just the file names now now let's use the regex to filter the file names but, but the file names are not inside the file names doesn't contain thumb it's the directory which contains thumb so we will have to let's see we will have to uh, uh, apply the condition on the subfolder so get the subfolder then sub so. 
this should be s in sub and now it should apply the condition It should be sub. No, oh, it should be S. And after that, we can do for item E. S. Item in OS. I'm sure there's a better approach. Start off with dot path dot join. Root, so I should also get the root shop root let's try to run it now all right it seems we are getting the results but i don't know if these are the correct images or not let's see what we are getting we are getting this folder it seems like a tuple containing the name an empty cool so it is returning us all these folders and the content inside but we only need this thing all the file names okay i know i know what's the problem let's try to run it now now we have all the file names and I'm pretty sure that these are the correct file names. But we don't just want the file names. We want the whole path. And we want to copy these images in a different folder. So let's grab the whole path. I need to do is get the root and the 
whole path now to get the whole path i have to get the subfolder so let's get to root 2 and sub 2 right now we can do something like this os dot path dot join root 2 sub 2 right mm, not a list why is it not working let me check the error again for saying that join argument must be argument must be string bytes or os path like not list okay so apparently we are passing a list this inside list this item hmm, this item contains the list This is a convoluted code. I should simplify it. There has to be a better way. R dot blue list dot R dot blue on the txt files R globe. Let's check this function. every directory in a positive style file system
let me for item in it it might work this time let's check the results now still doesn't work why Glob pattern dot by Well, I should use this library instead of OS. Pathlib library seems good, I guess. Pathlib to Pathlib import path dot pr dot Okay, let's use the Pathlib library then. at lib import path now let's see what do we want item or item in path which is path dot r globe This relative globe. Our globe is this relative globe, it seems. And if I pass dot star thumb dot star. Let's check uh, what it returns. We are not getting anything. Why are we not getting anything? We are kind of passing the path. And so we might not be getting anything. 
let me delete this part let's check the results now oh it's not even giving us dot star results so let me replace this with loop you know what guys i'm gonna take a break now we will continue this in the next stream because it seems that i'm a bit exhausted so i will see you guys in the next stream okay bye i promise i will continue this